Madam Moore of Jamie Lynn Spears in her new book, Things I Should Have Said, detailing what it was like becoming a mother at 17 in the public eye, her daughter's near fatal ATV accident, and how she's taking control of her mental health. Juju Chang is back with that. Hey, Juju. Hey, George. You know, it takes great personal courage to talk publicly about your mental health and your family trauma, especially if your last name is Spears. But for the first time, Jamie Lynn is sharing details of her daughter's near death experience, how it led her to a lot of painful truths and gave her the courage to share that truth. When Jamie Lynn Spears revealed she was pregnant at 16 in December of 2007, the intense scrutiny she faced rivaled the media circus that followed her famous sister's every move. I'm curious what you think about sort of the world, that the paparazzi world of that time. I, I look back and I think, wow, how is this acceptable? Why are you here other than to shame me and do benefit off of a young girl who's going through something already so traumatic and so deep and personal. We say we do better, but now we just go into the comments on Instagram and do it. Before going public, Spears says she felt pressured by members of her family and management team, but she was adamant. You wrote, and I'm going to quote you, the entire Spears team was already caught up in my sister's PR difficulties and everyone around me just wanted to make the issue disappear. Yeah, I think that the easy thing for possibly then would have been like let's just let's just get this over with and like you go back to being the perfect little sister because that's your role why do you think it makes you emotional still all these years later i just like thank god that i like you know i like thank god i stood up for myself and like said exactly what i wanted Eventually, Jamie Lynn says she was sent away to a remote cabin somewhere in the snowy northeast to avoid the news. No phone, no contact with the outside world for weeks. That time was, I felt, it felt like you're almost like suffocating. It was just like, I can't, I, I felt like what was I going to do? I was a kid and maybe this isn't my best interest and maybe this is what I'm supposed to do because of course I don't want to, be, you know, hounded by the paparazzi or the tabloids or allow them to control my narratives, but it felt like I was really being alienated. Daughter Maddie was born in June and Jamie Lynn left Hollywood to raise her. But when she was eight, a near fatal accident changed both their lives forever. Maddie flipped an ATV and got trapped underwater for more than six minutes as Jamie Lynn frantically tried to rescue her. What stays with you from that day? The biggest thought that I think stays with me that like haunts me um, is that when I was trying to save her, when I thought that I'd lost her, I was so afraid that her last thought was, why didn't mama save me? I just hope she knows that like I was doing everything I could if that was the last thing that she lived, you know? Maddie recovered. Jamie Lynn says the experience brought her closer to God and forced her to re-examine her entire life, including her own mental health struggles, the anxiety, depression, and OCD she'd been suppressing for years. It really was like to the point where my panic attacks were all consuming, where I'm counting, I'm touching the doorknob seven times. I've got to, you know, it was consuming my life to the point where it physically was taking over me. And I went and finally spoke to a therapist. At the time, I you know, took medicine and got back to a place to where I felt stable. It's quite clear throughout the book that you've come to a lot of self-discovery, a lot of painful realizations. So I think that when your worst fear happens, you get a lot less afraid of everything else. I think that it did. It made me reevaluate everything and who I was as a person and where I needed to be better. You know, Jamie Lynn is a songwriter and in true lyrical form, as we were chatting, she said to me off the cuff, sometimes you have to be shaken to the core to know what your core is. It sounds like a Robinism, doesn't it? And seriously, she is very much in touch with that core and what's real and meaningful in her life. And we should note, George, we reached out to her family and they did not respond to comments. And you can see more of my interview with Jamie Lynn tonight on Nightline, George. There is so much there. Juju, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime.
We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.